Hi there, and welcome to this web lecture on social psychology. Did you know that the need to belong is a basic human need? Do you know reasons why we are attracted to other people? Do you know the consequences of being rejected? My name is Peter Ruiten, and today we will be talking about interpersonal attraction and rejection. This web lecture is divided in three different sections. In the first section, I will explain what the need to belong is and why it is a basic human need. After that, I will explain what makes us feel attracted to other people. And finally, I will tell you about the consequences of being rejected. The need to belong is a desire to form and maintain relationships with other people. And this need can be satisfied in different ways. First, we want to have regular social contacts with others. But this need can also be satisfied by having a stable framework of mutual concern. The need to belong should be seen as a human need rather than a want. And there's an important difference between these two. A want is something that we can live without. So many people want to have a nice house or a nice car, but we can also live without. Whereas a need is something that we need in order to live healthy lives. And research shows that when people are not satisfied in their need to belong, um, they feel less healthy. Attraction occurs when we tend to like others based on their appearance or behavior. Several key factors can increase the probability of us being attracted to another person. First, we tend to be attracted to people who appear or behave similar to us. The matching hypothesis states that people who are similar are likely to end up together. Reciprocation leads to attraction because if a person returns a favor, we see them as someone who is more similar to us. The mere exposure effect states that the more we are exposed to a person, the more likely we are to be attracted to that person. And finally, people who simply look good are more likely to be found attractive. This also leads to the so-called halo effect which states that we attribute other positive traits like honesty and intelligence to people who look good. The opposite of attraction is rejection. And the most important concept in rejection is ostracism. Ostracism is being excluded, rejected and ignored. Now, if you are ignored by a stranger, this can give you strong, unpleasant feelings. But if you are ignored by a loved one, this can have devastating consequences on your health and your behavior. Being rejected can have many effects on people. Repeated rejection could, for example, lead to rejection sensitivity, which means that people start to expect being rejected by others and become hypersensitive to possible rejection. Our bodies also respond to rejection in similar ways as it does to physical injury. People also report pain, illness, depression, helplessness, eating disorders and feeling worthless. People also have behavioral reactions to being rejected. And studies show that rejected people are likely to become less cooperative, less helpful and more likely to cheat than others. A more constructive response to being rejected is that people sometimes start looking for new friends. If people have some prospect of being accepted by the same or other people, they also start behaving in more pro-social ways and become more likely to cooperate and conform. Another important concept in rejection is loneliness. Loneliness is wanting more human contact than you have. And it's important to note here that there is a gap between what people want and what they have. And this gap can be caused by both quantity or quality. So sometimes people feel that they have too few social relations, but sometimes they feel uh, that the quality of their social relations is lacking. Many reasons exist why people reject others. And some studies are done with children. For example, aggressive children tend to be rejected more than non-aggressive children. In addition, if children or adults withdraw from having social contact with others, they are also more likely to be rejected by those other people. And a final strong predictor of being rejected is being different than others. To wrap up this web lecture, I have showed you what the need to belong means and why it is a basic human need. I have showed you the key factors that could lead to people being attracted to one another. And I have explained the consequences of being rejected. That was all for today. 
Thank you for listening and hope to see you again soon.